I'm Emma Marnie, Travelling Exhibitions Coordinator at the National Portrait Gallery in Canberra and my role is to um, deliver the, our touring program, so exhibitions that have been either curated or organised by the National Portrait Gallery, which will then tour to venues across Australia in both regional centres and also capital cities. So part of my role as Travelling Exhibitions Coordinator is to ensure that the artwork for each touring show arrives safely. So for, the, for example, for the Photographic Portrait Prize, when the show is delivered to each venue, I'm responsible for checking the condition of each work against a condition report and ensuring that there haven't been any changes to that condition whilst the object has been in transit. The exhibition was previously on display at Wagga Wagga Art Gallery and unfortunately they experienced some flooding whilst the exhibition was on display there. Luckily for us and for them um, there was no damage to the works of art, however it is um, important for us to check at, each, at the conclusion of each exhibition and before an exhibition opens that the artwork has arrived safely. The National Photographic Portrait Prize has been going for three years now and it's the first prize at the National Portrait Gallery was in 2007 and 2009, 10 and 11 have been touring exhibitions. So the prize is now an annual exhibition which tours to a different region around Australia each year. People often ask um, why we have a prize that is about photographic portraiture and not painting. Um, as a lot of people are aware, the Archibald, which is a very long established portrait painting exhibition at the uh, Art Gallery of New South Wales, has really captured that market and the Portrait Gallery is very interested in contemporary photography and promoting the work of contemporary photographers. We have a lot of photography exhibitions within our program and we feel that the photographic prize for portraiture specifically is giving artists working in that medium the opportunity to showcase their work. The prize is actually a very good opportunity for photographers working in the medium of portraiture to gain exposure um, through the exhibition being held in a national cultural institution, also um, touring to four or five venues around the country. Their work is also included on our website, um, on Flickr, in the exhibition catalogue, but the most important part is our fantastic prize money. The exhibition is proudly supported by Visa, who offer a prize of $25,000 for the winner of the exhibition. The number of entries each year has been consistently high, with approximately 1,500 entries for each year that we've been running the exhibition. The entrants are from all over Australia, so people do have to be an Australian citizen to enter the prize, although not necessarily an Australian resident. The exhibition is judged by a panel, um, which is different for each year that the prize is on. Two staff are generally internal from the curatorial team at the National Portrait Gallery, and then one invited judge who is an expert in photography, working in the arts field, is invited to also assist in the judging process. There are a lot of favourites I have, actually. It's quite difficult. I could imagine it would be very difficult for the judges to select a winner. One of my personal favourites is, in fact, the portrait of Julia Zamero titled Lipstick by John Soans, which is a very direct image. Um, it's quite bold, it's cropped, um, it's rather confronting. She's gazing straight at you and um, I think the most interesting element of this image to me is the half-painted lips of Julia Zamero's very distinctive red striking lip colour, which you can see um, so she's half exposed and half has her persona on and I think it's a very powerful image and one that we chose to use for the catalogue as well. There's, there's, there's a real range of images in this show. Some are very staged and theatrical, others are um, more tell a story. One that I think is particularly moving and strong is uh, a photograph called Angel of the Gap by mm -hmm. Suckline Hayes and that image is actually shot in Sydney at the Gap and um, it, the artist statement reveals the story behind this man who has actually saved many, many lives of people who have been about to jump off the gap. So I find that it's a beautifully um, constructed image, uh, but also the story itself is quite moving.